Welcome to our third tutorial about creating a cross connection. Let's start by hiding some of our features. Right click and unselect visibility. Right click, unselect visibility. Let's collapse surface bodies. Let's delete thicken one. After we stitch the surfaces together, if we take a closer look at the connection between the adjacent faces, we can see that we've obviously got some problems. If I try to create a solid right now, I'm most likely going to get an error message. Let's check it out. We'll activate the Thicken Offset tool. Quilt. And OK. Modeling failure while offsetting surfaces. The vertex has no solutions. Let's cancel out of this warning message. The reason for this error is that we created the boundary patches using sketch curves. As a result, we don't have tangent relations between adjacent surfaces. We're going to have to fix this. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. OK, let's start by getting rid of this last stitch feature. Right click, delete, OK. And let's select all of these surfaces, boundary patches 1 through 6. Let's delete them as well. Now let's double click on our 3D sketch. We're going to select and delete these lines. And we're ready to finish the sketch. If I simply try to create boundary patches, I won't be able to select the correct edges now. As you see, when I mouse over, the entire circle becomes highlighted. There's a neat trick you can use to solve this problem. We're going to use an offset surface with a zero distance. Select this circle. We'll set the distance to zero. Basically, what this does is create a second surface in the same place where the original surface is. Let's click OK. And we'll do the same thing again. OK. And again. And a few more of the zero offsets. This one. OK. This one. Surface output. OK. And the last one here. Surface. OK. Now I'm going to hide extrusions 1 and 2. Right click, visibility, right click, visibility. Let's apply some boundary patches again. Here's the boundary patch dialog window. We'll select our edges now, this edge, and another curve. At edges 1 and 2, let's apply a tangent condition. And click Apply. Done. Now let's make the sketch visible. Activate the Boundary Patch tool again. I'll select this edge, this curve, another edge, and this curve. Apply a tangent condition to edges 1 and 2. Apply. Now let's get this edge and this curve. Here's another edge, another curve. Apply tangent conditions to edges 3 and 4. Apply. OK. Tangent conditions to edges 5 and 6. Apply. Let's bring back extrusions 1 and 2 now. Right click, visibility. Right click, visibility. We're going to offset the remaining segments now. Surface. OK. Thicken offset. Choose this surface. Surface. OK. 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 Again. OK. Two more to go. Now let's hide extrusions 1 and 2. Right click, visibility. Right click, visibility. Oh, I see here that I missed a segment. Right click, visible. OK, and let's hide it again. There we go. Surface, OK. And let's hide it again. 
Let's also hide the 3D sketch. Now we're ready to apply the boundary patch. This edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and this edge too. We're going to apply a tangent condition. Last one, apply. Okay, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's select our edges. Let's apply a tangent condition as well. Apply, and we're done. Now let's shift select all the surfaces. We'll do it in the browser. And then activate the stitch command. 22 surfaces are selected. Let's click apply, and done. Let's zoom in a little bit to look at the connection between the surfaces. As you can see, it looks much better. We're ready to create a solid. Let's activate the Thicken Offset tool. Select Quilt this time. Let's make the distance an eighth of an inch. 0.125 and click OK. And we've successfully created a solid. Let's hide our surface body. Right click, Visible. Okay, let's see how we can build this feature a different way. Let's undo. Undo it again, and undo it a third time. I'm going to see how we can get the same results for this cross connection using the shell command. Let's select these four edges. Click Apply. Same thing over here. Apply. Apply, and last one. Apply, and done. Now let's shift select all the surfaces in the browser. Activate the stitch tool. 26 surfaces selected. Let's leave maintain a surface unchecked, and we'll click apply. As a result, we'll have a solid. Click Done. Right here we can see one solid body in the browser. OK, now let's use the Shell command. Remove Faces, we'll select this one, this one, and we'll mouse over and select this one. Another one here. Thickness, let's make it an eighth of an inch. And click OK. And as you see, we have the same results. I want to show you one final thing in this chapter. Let's go to the Tools tab. Click on Application Options. When we've got the pointer over more than one object, after a one second delay, the Select Other tool appears. The Locate Tolerance option sets the Tolerance option in pixels. It can be anywhere from 1 to 10. Here you can set the delay in seconds before the Select Other tool appears. You're also able to turn it off. Let's cancel out of this window for now. And let's see how the Select Other tool works. Basically, what you do is scroll through the selections by clicking on the green arrows. You can go forward and back. 
and when you're ready to select, you click on the little green button in the middle. And this concludes our third tutorial about creating a cross connection.